Deep Work. Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World, is a book by Cal Newport that delves into the benefits of deep, focused work and provides strategies for achieving it. Here's a detailed summary. Introduction. 1. The book begins by distinguishing between two types of work, shallow work and deep work. Shallow work. Tasks that are non-cognitive, logistical, or minor duties that can be performed while distracted. These don't add much value and are easy to replicate. Deep work. Professional activities performed in a state of distraction-free concentration that push cognitive capabilities to their limit. These efforts create new value, improve skills, and are hard to replicate. The value of deep work. 1. Deep work is rare. In the age of digital distractions, many professionals are engaged in constant shallow work like emails, meetings, and instant messaging. 2. Deep work is valuable. Those who can perform deep work are becoming increasingly valuable as they can master complicated information quickly and produce at an elite level. 3. Deep work is meaningful. Engaging in deep work can also lead to a more fulfilling professional life. Rules and strategies for deep work. Work deeply. 1. Ritualize deep work. Create rituals and routines to minimize the willpower required to start. 1. Decide on a location, set a start and end time, and have rules to keep the session focused. 2. Make grand gestures. Dramatic actions, like J.K. Rowling booking a hotel room to finish her book, can increase motivation. 3. Don't work alone. Collaborative deep work can also be effective, like pair programming in software development. Embrace boredom. 1. Train yourself to resist distractions. 1. Don't switch to distractions every time you get bored. 1. This helps in improving concentration. Quit social media. 1. Newport argues that the cost of using social media, distraction, loss of deep work time, often outweighs the benefits. 2. He suggests quitting or drastically reducing time on social media. Drain the shallows. 1. Schedule every minute of your day. 1. This doesn't mean being rigid but helps in identifying and minimizing shallow work. 2. Finish work by 5.30 p.m. 2. Fixed schedule productivity can be a boon. 2. By fixing the end of the workday, it forces more productive deep work sessions. 3. Become hard to reach. 3. Set communication expectations, and don't respond to every email or message immediately. Conclusion. Newport concludes by emphasizing that deep work is not just about being more productive. It's about achieving a sense of fulfillment and purpose in one's professional life. In a world full of distractions, the ability to focus deeply is becoming a rare and valuable skill. This summary provides an overview of the main concepts and strategies presented in Deep Work. The book itself delves deeper into each topic with examples, anecdotes, and detailed explanations.